So you have a pet bird. Most parakeet owners will have difficulties with taming and making their birds trust them or taking them outside the cage and sometimes even bringing them back into the cage without losing their bird's trust. In this video, I'll give you the basics of how to take care of your pet bird, how to make it trust you, and even how to already make it step up on your finger. Taming your bird can be a matter of three days or even more than a month. It all depends on your bird's personality and whether it wants to be a jerk. Here are eight ways to tame your bird. If it's new, give it space. If you just got your bird, don't make a beginner's mistake by trying to tame it on the first couple of days. It's most likely stressed out and still getting used to its new environment. So give it some space and time to adjust and only then you can start with taming. Don't try to tame more than one. If you have a couple of birds and you're trying to tame them while they're all in one cage, save your time because it will probably never work out. Birds in groups are very distractive to one another and will never cooperate. For best results, take the bird you wish to tame to a different room and tame it there while it can't see the rest of its flock. This way it will stay focused and won't get distracted. And now a quick thank you for our sponsor today, Relivet. These guys produce CBD treats and oils that are designed for your pet bird and are made of only natural ingredients. It can help if your bird is suffering from depression, anxiety, pain, inflammation, and even plucking behaviors. Or if you just want to maintain your bird's health and it doesn't actually have any medical problems. So if you want your bird to try CBD treats and oils, go to the link in the description and use this coupon to get 20% off your order. Place your hand inside the cage. To bond with your bird and start taming it, there's the 5 minute trick. Basically you need to enter your hand inside your bird's cage every day for 5 minutes and just leave it there as close as your bird lets you before it starts freaking out. This helps your bird to get used to you and not fear you anymore. Encourage with treats. Any smart bird will sell its soul for a treat. So if you really want your bird to be tamed quickly and to love you, reward it with millet spray or any other favorite treats and feed it from your hands. Tame it when it's hungry. A common problem owners have when trying to tame their bird is that their bird just won't accept any treats. The best time to tame your bird is in the mornings. That's the time they're most hungry because they just woke up from a long night's fasting. Don't get it out of the cage before it's tamed. Another beginner's mistake owners keep doing is releasing their untamed bird and then just chasing it around the room to bring it back inside the cage. And this is how, ladies and gentlemen, you ruin the entire relationship you've had with your bird. Never bring a bird outside of its cage before it's tamed. Push under its belly. When the time comes and your bird is already comfortable with you, Take your finger and push very gently under your bird's belly, just to encourage it to step up. This will immediately give your bird the impression that your finger is just like a perch. Don't make sudden moves. Every time you enter your hand inside your bird's cage, it thinks you want to harm it. It doesn't understand your intentions and that's why you need to stay predictive by only making gentle and calm movements. When you get a puppy, you train it to sit. And when you get a bird, the basic command to teach it is to step up. This is a great way to bond with it and have better control over your bird. If your bird is still not used to you, then for several sessions, you may want to just slowly and quietly place your hand in your bird's cage, away from your bird. But for those who are in a better relationship with their birds, Start with getting your bird to a quiet room with no distractions from other birds. Make sure to use your bird's favorite treats. These types of treats should be reserved for training purposes only, so your bird will do anything to get them. The next step is to hold a treat in one hand and lure your bird to come closer to the step-up hand, which is held in front of the bird at a higher level 
than the perch. At first, you will want to encourage your bird with a treat even if it just comes close to you. Once your bird starts to step onto your hand, say step up or up. Either command is fine and should be said in a high tone so your bird will remember what it means and that it gets rewarded every time it hears and follows the command. When training your bird, the session should be short, usually around 15 minutes. Never start a session if you're impatient or frustrated. Your bird will feel that something's wrong and won't cooperate. Come on, step up, step up. Each bird is different and some will get the hang of it right away while others may take a little longer and that's perfectly fine. Patience is always the key to good training. Make the training a positive experience for both you and your bird. Remember to have fun. Birds don't always want to free roam outside, and a parakeet may be reluctant to leave the security of his cage. However, it can't live there all the time. It needs exercise. Unless you have a massive aviary, a cage is way too small to be a permanent full-time residence for your bird. And here are 5 ways to help you get your bird outside of its cage. Just a quick reminder before we start with the tips. Make sure your room is bird-proof. No open windows, exposed wires, or places your bird may be trapped in. Follow the mirror. If you've ever shown your bird a mirror, you probably know that it acts like it's almost magnetized to it, and you can totally use that for your favor when getting your bird out of its cage. Just open your bird's cage door, grab a small mirror, and start to show your bird its reflection. The next step is to start moving the mirror towards the cage opening, and your bird will follow the mirror to the outside of the cage in a matter of seconds. Get a playground. Maybe your bird does want to go outside, but it just doesn't have a comfortable place to land on. Everything looks big and unfamiliar to your bird's eyes, so that's why you need a playground next to its cage. That way your bird will feel more secure and invited to fly outside. I'll leave links in the description for some nice playgrounds that my birds use. Seduce it. Maybe one of the most obvious ways to get your bird to do things is by encouraging it with treats. You can just take millet spray or any other treat that your bird likes and place it near the opening of its cage using a clothespin. And the next step is just to wait for your bird to go for its treat. The moment it will notice that the cage door is open from close by, it's very likely to start exploring the outside. Place a perch at the opening. To make things easy on your bird, you can place a perch right in front of the cage door. Some birds don't realize how to move forward when it comes to leaving their cage. So that's a great way to help your bird to simply get out of its cage. Remove anything scary. Sometimes birds find toys that their owners hang in their cages scary. There are a lot of cases that a bird does want to get out, but it's just terrified from a toy that's nearby. So before expecting your bird to fly outside, make sure you did not put anything in its area that prevents it from starting to free roam. It's needless to say that it's not recommended to let a bird out of its cage before it's stained, because it will be difficult to get your bird back inside the cage afterwards, and you may lose its trust even more during that process. Getting your budgie back into its cage can be quite tricky, especially if it's untamed and stubborn like most budgies are. There are a few methods to make your budgie go back inside its cage, and you absolutely don't want to chase and grab it to make it happen. The time to sleep method. This is actually one of the most efficient ways to get your budgie back into its cage. Your budgie's cage needs to be in your budgie's side to make this method work. Grab a night light, or just use your phone's screen light, and place it as close as possible to your budgie's cage. 
and then turn off the lights in the room or just close the curtains if it's daylight outside. Once the room is dark and there is only one source of light coming from the area of your budgie's cage, your budgie's natural instinct would be to fly back into its cage for sleep. The seduction method. Your budgie probably has a favorite treat, whether it's millet spray or some kind of vegetable. Use this to seduce it back into its cage. Show your budgie the treat and make sure it keeps looking at it when you place it inside the cage. Then simply walk away and wait for your budgie to take the bait. Once your budgie enters the cage and enjoying its treat, quickly and calmly close the door. The it should work method. If you have time and you're not in a hurry to get your budgie back into its cage, you can also just leave its food bowl inside the cage instead of outside and simply wait until it gets hungry and will have no other choice besides going back home. This will also help your budgie feel that it's not forced to get back into its cage, but that it's actually doing it willingly. And remember, no matter which method you'll go for, always reward your budgie with a treat as soon as it goes into its cage, so it encourages it for the next time.